Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look on how to create an album cover. So my first album cover tutorial is actually one of, one of my most viewed videos on my channel which is crazy. So why not make a part 2? Uh, in this video we're going to take a look on how to create a brand new album cover. We're going to use some new techniques and um, hopefully you learn something new. And as always, everything I used in this video will be linked in the description below. And if this video reaches 150 likes, I will release the PSD for this for free. And all I ask is that you give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so to create an album cover just like this, we're going to go into our document. Uh, mine is 2000 by 2000. And we're going to start off by making the background, which is going to be a radial gradient using like this teal gray color to more of like a, like a brown color, just like this. Then I'm just going to import the image of our artist, just like that. I'm going to add a gradient map to that as well. And it's going to be the same gradient as we use for the background. I'm going to make the clip mask be a little bit easier to see. Yeah, so the same gradient as for the background. I'm just going to flip the colors and then hold down Alt and create a new point. I'm going to make this new point white instead or like an off white, I think. Something like this. Yes. And I'm just going to move around these points just a little bit. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. So next, I think I just want to add some highlights and create some details. So we can make an exposure layer, make it a clip mask and put it below the gradient map. I'm just going to increase the exposure quite a bit. Also just try down the offset just a little bit. Great. So we're going to select the layer mask, fill it in with black and use our brush and color white to just paint in these highlights. So maybe right here on these dreads, you know. You know, on this chain. And his watch as well. And even, even you know, on his jacket as well. emphasize these details. So yeah, just like that. Looks uh, a lot better. Uh, next, I'm going to add this like, uh, yeah, kind of like glow effect. So I'm going to select all these layers. Ctrl J and Ctrl E to merge. I'm going to add a threshold. Just like that, create a clipper mask, select them, Ctrl and E to merge, Ctrl and J to make a duplicate. Then we're going to go into filter, blur, and motion blur. And we're just going to add some motion blur to like an angle, kind of like so. Yeah, and just do the same thing with the other layer, but we are going to just change the angle to it, like so. I'm going to make these two layers screen and select them both, Ctrl and E to merge and just make it screen once again. I think it's a little bit too much on uh, some places, so I'm just going to make a lay mask, fill it in with black, use our brush tool again, and I'm just going to paint in these highlights instead. You can use a lower opacity brush if you want, some, some places, yeah, just like that. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to do this one more time, so select the layers, Ctrl E, make a threshold, create a clip mask, Ctrl E to merge, and instead of motion blur, we're going to use Gaussian blur, uh, make it the blending mode screen. And that adds a little bit of a softer uh, highlight as well. I'm just going to try down opacity kind of like so. That looks awesome. Next, I think you want to, to do the text. So I'm going to use, so I'm just going to grab the text tool and I'm using the font high summit. And I'm just going to type out the text we want. I'm just going to have it say true to myself, which is one of uh, Litigi's albums too, just like that. So yeah, something like that, I think will do fine. The position can like so. Uh, yeah, then we're going to go into our lay style on one of the layers. And we're going to add 
bevel and emboss which will look just like this actually in the bevel smooth depth at around 500 to 600 size 13 soften one pixel and use this gloss contour which look like uh, this cone right here uh, highlight white shadow black and just you might have to change around with the size depending on the size of your text we're also going to add a satin just to make it a bit darker now you can just copy these settings if you want to great so when we're happy with our lay style we are going to copy it and paste it to the other layers just like that then we can select them all ctrl g to make a group now we're going to add a gradient map to create this chrome effect so just go and make, create a gradient map Make sure it's a clip mask and it will be black and white. You just drag the white point a bit closer to the black. Make a copy of the black and create a pattern kind of like this. And you can see it will make this kind of chrome effect. Yeah, perfect. And if you actually make a layer underneath the gradient map, that is also a clip mask. You can go in with black and you can actually go in and just paint and it will actually change how the, the chrome effect looks, you know. You switch from black and white to get different kind of effects. If you want to, you don't have to. So use something like that, I think. And next, I'm going to add another adjustment layer. And it's going to be a photo filter. Because we kind of want to match the text with the, the color of the background. So I'm just going to make kind of like a green, off green color. Kind of like so and increase the, the density all the way to 100%. Kind of like this. Perfect. And I'm also going to make an exposure layer. And increase the exposure just a little bit. Kind of like so. And last but not least we're going to add a color balance layer. Just to try and make the text fit in with the background. Just add some blue and some green. I think that will do. And we're going to grab all the text layers, Ctrl and J and Ctrl and E to merge them. And we're going to do the same like trippy glow effect like that we did uh, before. So we're going to add a threshold, kind of like so. Just increase the size or the level size a little bit. Uh, Ctrl and E to merge. I'm going to duplicate this three times. One, two, three. You can hide the rest. And we're going to make the first one blur, motion blur. So yeah, something like that. Hide it, grab the another layer, filter, blur, motion blur. And we're gonna just change the angle, something like that. Select both layers and make them screen. Great, you can select them both, merge them and screen again. And drag down the opacity just a little bit if you think it's too much. And for the final threshold layer, I'm just going to make this regular caution blur. Just to smoothen out the text just a little bit and make this the loop blending mode screen as well. Great, so that is basically our text done. And we get this kind of like, yeah, chrome text effect with this kind of glow. I think it looks really cool. And uh, yeah, I think you just want to add, you know, some logos and text that uh, album covers have, such as like the parental advisory logo. And I'm also going to add a little TJ's logo. So I'm just going to do that right now. So yeah, something like that. Just going to put it up here. Yeah, great. Uh, now we get to the fun part. Because now we're going to add some textures. And for that, we're going to use the regular pack. So I'm just going to go into that. And the first one we're going to grab is this shattered glass effect. I'm going to drag it over. We're going to put it behind the artist. All right, so just Ctrl and T. And we're just going to resize it. Okay, like so. And we're gonna make this layer the plain mode color dodge instead. But we're gonna make a copy, make it screen, and then filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I'm just going to add a slight blur to it as well. But we're going to try down the opacity to around 50%. So you just get a little bit of glow out of it. Great, so that looks awesome. And uh, go back to my regular pack. We're going to take this one. Drag it over and put it above everything. Ooh, I actually forgot something. Hide that for now. And just above, just above the person, we're gonna make a new layer. I'm gonna grab our brush tool and select like a light color. I'm just gonna paint in with it right here. That would add some extra glow and color. I'm going to make this the blending mode soft light. Yeah, just like that. 
key is straight down the opacity just uh, a tiny bit great so now let's move back to this uh, adjustment layer or this like filter and drag it above everything all right let's see i'm gonna make it a lot bigger and we only want to use the part that is not like this effect i'm just gonna flip it around a couple of times all right so yeah something like that and uh, we're gonna go control and u on that layer and we're gonna change the hue to fit a little bit more to the background. You can also increase the lightness just a little bit to increase the effect as you see. Maybe dry down the saturation as well. Yeah, something like that. Great. Dry down the opacity if you think it's a little bit too much. 50%. Yeah, great. Uh, go back to my rigger pack. And we're gonna add this layer right there. No, no, god damn it this one right here great drag it over just gonna flip it make sure it fits right here gonna make it the blending mode color dodge gonna make a copy flip it horizontally move it over to the other side it's gonna make these two just a little bit smaller so they both fit just like that if this something gets a little bit too bright like the chain right here i just can go back to this layer style out oh, layer mask i mean and just paint out some of it. Like a low opacity brush and black. Yeah, kind of like so, if you think it's too much. So yeah, just like that. And that is basically our textures done. And now we get to the second uh, fun part, and that is some color correction. I'm gonna start off by adding a photo filter. And I think this first warming filter works kind of good, because as you can see from the beginning, it's kind of blue, kind of green. And just to introduce some warmth to it, it's gonna increase the density just a little bit. Can like so. Next, I'm going to add a solid color. I'm gonna add some noise. So let's make a gray layer, filter, blur, no, uh, noise. Add noise, rasterize around 10%. And we're gonna make this layer uh, overlay. Uh, right now, I think it's plenty bright. So I'm gonna add a curves layer. I think is we want to drag down these shadows quite a bit actually and increase some of the highlights. Uh, great. And the final adjustment layer we're going to add is a color lookup. And we're going to use this one, film stock 50. And I'm not sure if these uh, lookups are included with Photoshop. If they're not, I'm going to leave it in the description as well with everything else, of course. But yeah, uh, film stock 50. And which looks really cool actually on this uh, album cover but it's a little bit too much so of course drag down the opacity until we're happy with the effect great so that looks really cool actually now if you think some of the highlights are a little bit too much you can always drag down the opacity um i think maybe add some more general glow would be nice just gonna make a new layer like add the brush strokes just like that just drag down opacity very very little so just get some glow like outwards yeah just like that i think that looks really cool actually yeah so select every layer make it the group and uh, ctrl and j ctrl e to merge it and we're gonna double click to go into the layer style so we're gonna click one of these channels right here and move it one step so we get this like rgb split effect which also looks really cool great so yeah and uh, that is uh, how you make this a uh, really cool album cover i really hope you have enjoyed this video as i said in the beginning uh, everything i used is in the description below if you want to follow along and yeah and if this video reaches 150 likes i will release this psd for free and uh, so you can just download it check it out if you want to and all i ask is that you subscribe and give this video a like because uh, that will because uh, that would uh, mean the world but yeah um if you don't i at least hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, i'll see you in the next one all right bye